Okay, welcome back. This is the fifth part of the E lecture three. Now, uh, we are given a problem now, and uh, I have intentionally highlighted the things H here. H is the dimension we're going to find. And there's a little dot here, like I say, this is the start point. And the contact region between part A and B. Le. Let's identify where the parts are and how should we draw, how should we choose the dimension. Le. Let's go for part A. Part A starts from here. Start. Le. Now, part A starts from here and he needs to go to the contact point. You need to go to the contact point. Yeah? You realize that to go to the contact point, his option is this. Yeah. Uh, he will have to come down. Then, he will have to go up. And finally, came down. And that will bring it to part B. So let's identify which region of part B, which is here. And part B needs to go where? He needs to end up at this surface. Uh, uh, ends up here. And how does he go there? Uh? You realize that he has to travel. He has to travel from here. Goes up. Then, he had to go further up. Finally, he will come down. So basically, uh, you realize that we got six arrows there. Simply means that there will be six dimension required. Let me name the dimension. Uh, the first one. Second. Third. And from here, we got the fourth. The fifth and the 6 and this direction is this is negative positive when it goes up it's positive but coming down is negative and for the 4th is going up is positive 5th is also positive and 6th is negative take a second to look at the 6th dimension and its direction eh? With that, we will calculate, we will determine it one more time here. To clarify this, I just want to highlight the dimension involved. In fact, no need, all the six dimensions are involved. Huh? I doesn't need to do too much over here. All are involved, I'll move it up here. So the dimension involved is this one is going to go down and then this will go up and this will come down from here this will go up a further up for this one and a further down for this dimension six dimension eh? so let me draw the box eh, to put in all the dimensions There could be six, so I realized I need to draw seven line because uh, one of them will be the header line. Eh? In fact, eight one will be the last line for the conclusion. Okay, first, this is the the second line. I'm getting out of the paper, uh, but I'm going to just put it up here. Okay. Now the first part I'm going to put is the part. The name of the part. Part A has three dimension. 
part B has three dimension. So I need another line below. And the dimension for A, the first one is The second one, six two. Second one is given in upper limit and lower limit, so it is easier. I don't need to convert to the limits. And the third one is even neater. He says, it's even have a equal tolerance. Huh? I don't even need to do anything with the third one. Okay, this is a B. Yeah, this one will be the fourth one will be. 35 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.15 and then this is 8.6 plus 0 0.12 subtract 0 0.1 and the B is 16.9 it doesn't have a tolerance for B yeah? so let's see what it says yeah? Can you see, notice the note there? He says that unspecified tolerance huh, is going to be plus and minus 0 0.1. Huh? Simply means that this is unspecified. The, the last one is unspecified. We will put it as plus and minus 0 0.10. Now with that done now, let's put in is a normalized dimension. Huh? I got a value here, this is a 14 point three. You can check out the dimension yourself, huh? I mean see whether I make a mistake over here or not. one's the same this is easiest because it doesn't need to normalize huh? uh, that goes without saying that the last one also no need to normalize let me bring over there first make it feel good huh, that I have finished more than necessary then this will be 35.25 minus 0.1 and then this will be 8.61 plus and minus 0.11 this is normalized okay now we will have to be very careful with the sign yeah? the first one is going down so it's going to be negative second one is going up positive third one is coming down negative then the fourth one is going up positive the fifth one is also going up positive and finally we have negative so the grand total over here is going to be 49.69 plus and minus 0 0.62 uh, once again, um, I just want to mention how I get 49.69. Yeah? This number, how do I get this number? Uh? It, it will be, this, this number will be 62.085 plus this one, 35.25 plus 8. 0.61 subtract 14.355 subtract 25 and finally subtract 16.9 and this is where I hope you can grasp the concept 
and this is the last part for e lecture 3 have a nice day bye